What if cravings were not the mind gone wrong, but what if cravings were actually messages from your unconscious mind, even giving you the secrets to decode weight issues? Hi, I'm Holly Stokes, and I want to share kind of a quick story that can help you start decoding your own cravings for yourself, but also with working with your clients. So as a hypnotist, we know that the mind is hardwired for stories, that we remember them easier, better, and it takes it to the unconscious mind, right? So I'm going to share this key point and illustrate it through a story. So one night on the way home from work, I was driving along. I love my drive, my commute. And as I'm driving along, I'm getting like visions of yellow cake yellow cake and i tell you this picture of yellow cake it was glorious i can see it right in front of me and it's even as i'm talking about it i can feel my mouth water this yellow cake also has buttercream frosting and i tell you as i'm getting into this experience <laughs> of really seeing this amazing yellow cake it's almost like the clouds have parted and light is coming through and shining down on that yellow cake so I'm really getting into the fantasy of this yellow cake, right? And then as I'm thinking about it, some part of my mind is like, Holly, you just had cinnamon rolls this morning. You don't need yellow cake. So then I'm like, oh, okay. As I had been like focusing on teaching healthy lifestyle classes, I'm reminded I don't really need this, but there's something going on here. So I asked my mind, as I see this yellow cake, what is it that I really want? And I kind of wait for a minute and nothing. I get nothing. So I took the next step. I imagined eating a bite of this yellow cake. And in my mind, I can feel it just kind of melting across my tongue, that buttercream frosting, my lips, <laughs> my lips kind of wrapping around the cakey part, right? And as I'm getting into that, I notice this word comes up, accomplishment. So I thought about accomplishment and I recognized that this is the message from my unconscious mind. I was wanting to feel accomplishment. So if I would go home because I do gluten free, so gluten doesn't work well for my body, I would have to make the whole cake from scratch. And not only that, but I like making my own frosting too. And so if I were to go home and make this cake from scratch, bake the cake and then frost it, then I would have my cake and eat it too. And it would be complete, right? And I would have this accomplishment. So as I looked at my life, my current situation, I had a lot of uh, goals that I was working on and making headway with, but they weren't coming to fruition. Big projects like working on my book or my CDs. So I recognized what I was really wanting was the feeling of accomplishment. As hypnotists, we know that we don't have to actually do anything to get a feeling. We can just think about it. So the next step, I asked my mind, what are the ways that I'm already accomplished? As I asked that question, my mind started bringing to them awareness. Oh, I have this hypnosis practice. You know, I'm running a full client schedule. I'm making headway on my book, blah, 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 and I had all of these things. And then, so in the next few minutes, I was allowing myself to fill up on the feeling of accomplishment. So by the time I actually got home, I didn't even want the yellow cake anymore. <laughs> so I share this story to illustrate this key point. Behind every craving, your cravings are actually messages from your unconscious mind. And if we're paying attention, one is that question, is it really about the yellow cake or is it, what is it that I really want? What is my mind trying to tell me through the cravings? So as you start to look at the things that you might crave, you might recognize maybe there were certain foods that you were rewarded with. Maybe chocolate means connection. Cake can mean social events or celebration. As you start to look for what is the deeper message behind the craving? It will give you an awareness of what your unconscious mind is trying to get through that it's showing up as a food or as a craving. And then you can start to recognize how do I start creating this in a bigger way in my life. And as we get this in a bigger way in our life, it takes the edge off of that craving. 
So if we start looking at our unconscious mind as working for us, rather than being wrong, we can start to leverage the messages that it's bringing to help us be more clear, more focused, more satisfied in life in general. So if you want more unconscious decoding and, ha and doing those hacks that can help you stop sabotage with weight loss, both for yourself and for your clients. So if you're ready to up your game with weight loss issues, which is really about unconscious body stuff that is going on at the deeper level, to decode what the unconscious mind is telling you um, and to really give you a tool that you can use both for weight loss and for any sticky, challenging, even especially body and health issues, then you're going to want to check out this class. So check it out, htlive.net. If you have questions, PM me. There's some extra bonuses that I've added to it that I'll be sharing as well. All right. Thinking about the foods that you crave. Let them come to mind. What is it that you really want? What are those cravings actually trying to tell you about what you want to create more of in your life? Food for thought. I'll see you at the hypnosis conference. If you have any questions, PM me. I look forward to talking with you soon.